After announcing that sports are on hold, Wyndham superintendent says he learned of several more students with COVID-19, forcing the school year to start online. It's, it's incredibly frustrating. Before they even walk the halls, Wyndham New Hampshire high schoolers are watching elements of a traditional school year fall apart. The superintendent announced in an email that fall sports practices and tryouts are suspended indefinitely after multiple student athletes tested positive for COVID-19. I have friends that have followed every like rule. They've worn their mask. They've stayed six feet apart. They've, they've they, you know, put the hand sanitizer on all of that, and and they're getting that opportunity, you know, taken away from them, even though they've, they've done it right. It doesn't feel fair. It's not only sports. Just hours before the planned first day of school, the superintendent announced students will stay home and learn remotely this week. The thing that everybody said would never happen here has happened. That they said everything would prevent, and it's happened before we even get back in school. So, I mean, uh, imagine what it's going to be like a month in when we're all in contact with each other every day. It's disappointing. It's not surprising, but it's disappointing. Parents are understanding and frustrated. Worried that in person learning is only a dream for this school year. I mean, I've just seen a lot of other school districts that started a little earlier in other states and stuff. And as soon as kids started getting COVID, they were back up, you know, sent them back home again. And Wyndham High School is now working with the state's health department to figure out if and when both in person school and sports can start again. In Wyndham, Christina Rex, WBZ News.